Hello guys, and I have something amazing to show to you today. It's not a crappy picture on this LCD, but an almost complete X666 Hobby King quadcopter. The main battery and some connectors are arriving tomorrow, but everything else is connected and ready to fly. I have installed LED lights on this quadcopter that can be switched on and off. Uh, with the turn of a uh, gear switch on my transmitter using a Hobby King remote switch. This quadcopter will run on DJI NASA, but this time I also have a GPS unit uh, that will allow me to use return to home and GPS position hold. As my F22, this quadcopter uses a Sky 2A telemetry receiver, which allows me to see real time data on signal quality of the uplink and downlink and also my flight battery voltage on my transmitter. It will be running on high speed 30 amp aka uh, ESCs with aka dark magic motors. It also has a quite powerful transmitter 600 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz uh, with a stock antenna but I will change it to clover leaf later. And I will be using Fat Shark Predator goggles for FPV. The camera that I will be using for FPV is a Turnigy FPV camera. It has a lens uh, wider than the stock one. But I also made uh, a mounting plate for the GoPro to go under the camera near the battery mount. The lens is really wide. Uh, I think the field of view is about 150 or 170 degrees. Uh, but nevertheless, there is a um, pen tilt mount for the camera coming that I will be using with the head tracking feature of the FetchR goggles. There is also something not quite stock on this quadcopter. This is a, a piece of plywood uh, 5 cm uh, wide and 25 cm in length that I mounted uh, beneath the frame. It has uh, some attachment points uh, on the downside and I have mounted my camera. Um, my OSD with a current sensor will go on the back and also provides a place for the GoPro camera to be mounted uh, beneath the plywood and also the battery will be strapped to the bottom of the quadcopter uh, with straps running around this plywood plate. I think this is quite a nice quadcopter. Uh, tell me guys what you think about it and also post some ideas about uh, what places in Moscow uh, should I film uh, with this quadcopter? Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time in the video of me flying this quadcopter and explaining how to tune uh, the gains in the NASA flight control unit.